good morning i hope everyone is really well um okay so a couple of weeks ago i did um mono prints of um wattle because wattle is out in in um at the moment and i thought what i would do is show you um well, you know when you when you're trying to work out what a picture is going to look like or um i wanted to show you different versions so i have a watercolor bird that's paint that's um been printed okay so i could print um the watercolor bird um four times just to show you and i wanted to show you it's either going to be three or four i have i have drawn up four um and four pieces that um, sort of kind of a different look for the same thing. So this is just uh, mixed media paper that um, I've got out of the book. And they're just, as you can see, the, the leftover pieces of the postcards on that mixed media paper that I was using there. So I've just ripped them out. So in this one, um, I'm going to use the... Um, jelly prints which are on tissue paper uh, wax paper and um mm, wax paper being the wrap kitchen wrap um and also there is one piece this one this particular piece here which is on a really um grease proof paper that you use and it's it's translucent but it, it um it has this gorgeous print on it as you can see and I thought I may use that. It might not work. Who would know? Hey, who would know? Because I actually don't know really what I got. I got this far. So I thought, okay, so this is one way that I'm going to, and I'm going to make this, this piece, and then I'm going to use it on something. Now, whether I use the whole of it or, or I use part of it or whatever, but this is um, my kind of process at the moment. So I thought I'd share it with you. The second one is, um, uh, has a bit of a, a window and a shadow of ink on it uh, I've done a shadow over there so and there's a window of um, of work so that's a much smaller smaller area and then there's this one that I actually cut up into five pieces so it's actually a broken a bird that's um you know been broken up into five pieces like so and I'll just get this back into and um so i don't really know what i'm doing with that except that obviously it will be a complete it will still be a bird but it won't be it won't look the same and then of course on this one i've had to i've left half of the piece of printed paper and scripted on it in um watercolor pencil and so and i've written light blue so i'm feeling like that this one's going to be have a blue background behind it so this is what I'm doing. Um, I don't know how long these will all take. I will try and make it fast just so that, you know, you're not um, having to sit there all day. <laughs> um, and, or I might even break it up into two. I don't really know. I don't know how long this will take. So anyway, I will do this first one first. First one first. And we shall go from there. So if it takes more than 15 minutes, I probably will stop and just make different parts. So we're going to work on this background. And, and as I said, I did mono prints of, of the, the beautiful wattle that is out at the moment. So I'm just going to have a bit of a play um, with the background pieces um, now and also this watercolor this is a watercolor um, printed out on the printer and I might knock it back a bit you know um, because I can bring it back up again and I can print out another one because obviously so I just printed out four small ones on on the printer I scanned it in and you know did that um so what i'm going to do first up is grab a piece of and a brush brushes are always helpful aren't they 
Do you think I have my brushes? No, my brushes seem to be missing in action. Okay, well, that's interesting. Now, this, um, this particular um, mixture is um, burnt umber and white and a flow medium to thin down the burnt umber, this one, yep, and white. And it's just a, a mixture that I use to, 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 to create, um, to knock it back, to like knock back the, um, So you'll see when it dries, you'll be able to see the bird and everything still, but it will be slightly muted. And I quite like that. Um, just had to go and pop over and get uh, something. Now I'm just going to, I'm actually just going to glue while that's drying. I am actually just going to glue this on to the background to the substrate and use me um, medium for this which also would be good but um, I, what I find with the medium with tissue paper is that it just um, it just, I don't know, it gets too wet. It wets it too much. So I like to use the um, Yoohoo. And lining it up because you really only get one kind of a shot. own folder and make sure it's nice and flat mm, so many prints sorry I need to move these away <laughs> I did have fun the other day making these I really did some of them are are, are wonderful but I don't really need them right there at this particular moment sorry about that um, all right now could have gone a little bit lower too late she cried <laughs> too late she cried but anyway that's all right all right water the yes the same water as my flowers are in <laughs> which is actually my paint water it's just they gorgeous just beautiful very inspiring just in, not so much my my daughter though because she gets hay fever so that's not good now we're just going to put this bit of tissue because I'm always looking for small pieces of tissue to um, print stamp bits on or you know clean cloth gently all right perfect all right i'm just going to pop that over on the dryer I'll just bring this little birdie back so now i will show you the difference between oh, they're a bit in the way aren't they sorry um okay so this is the one that i've knocked back with um my mix just put that away and i'll just bring over the original This one that's been cut out. There's different things. Like this one has been cut out. Um, this one has been 
kind of ripped out uh, this one has been with water brush so there's a different look to to a lot of them you know the water brush definitely leaves a, 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 a nice edge that I like a lot um, this one very straight cut edge not not so much my favorite but even so I'd like I like to you know mix it up a bit so you can see the difference the color how it's changed so you I'll be able to highlight um, the areas I want to highlight with that when um, I go back in with my uh, intense uh, inks all right so moving right along and if you don't want to mute it you don't have to it's just sometimes it just I don't know I like the I like it knocking back that now so we've got the we've got this and we've got this thing of course is what else uh -huh. and which way do we want to go you know and does there need to be does there need to be if I uh, see that that's I like it that way what am I going to add I, is there any other sort of you know items I'm going to add to this to make it more interesting to um, or is it going to be just a piece that I'm going to cut out and I'm going to utilize like that bit there or you know just this bit here so I make these up and I think I'm going to glue that down there now it's just as I said you could use um, uh, the gel medium matte medium you know but I'm just using this today because it's probably easier and quicker for me to do that you know time frame wise it dries a lot faster than the medium think about what else I want to add to this to this layout um, as I said it could be that I'm only going to cut off cut off this much this much or it could be that I'm going to go long could be anything oh my god the angle I could do anything who would know but I need to make uh, add some other pieces into it you know to create a bit more interest and texture and so forth um, I could Oh no, I might do that on the others. Um, I'm, I'm trying, and I will try and do things different on e on each one. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to let this dry, and then I'm going to come back. Okay, so I'm back, and um, I've just got, got a couple of ideas for this particular one, and um, so I want to do another overlay in tissue. So I've got quite a lot of tissue because that's what I did these prints on, particularly for this event. And I just need to decide kind of what, which one I need to go with. Um, this, oh, excuse me, negative, the negative um, piece. Other. Or, mm, I don't think so. Or some beautiful green piece that I've got going on, and I could actually the top of the bird. Spectacular. I don't know whether it should be or it should just be brown. Maybe actually I might leave that green to another. All right, I've decided I'm going to just use this piece. But uh, 
out and I'll cut that out you know what I mean with the water brush um, just run around the actual or white tissue you know that we're not really needing as much as possible anyway very much of this tissue paper it's just the finest tissue paper um, okay, now, where are we? So I'm going to overlay the, um, down the edge extra that I'm not going to use at this point and make sure is um just just work this get over The watered down um, gel medium. dry now and um, I will be back. <laughs> 